And back in Singapore, recommendations to strengthen the current laws on animal welfare will be finalised soon. The committee was set up in April this year. This responsible pet ownership roadshow was a timely event to share an update on the review. Guest of Honour, Acting Minister for Manpower and Senior Minister of State of National Development, Tan Chuan Jin, said the recommendations will be submitted to the MND in the coming months. There will be four key aspects. These are ensuring reasonable care and welfare of animals, stepping up action against wrongdoers, fostering greater responsibility in the industry to ensure animal welfare, and fostering greater responsibility among pet owners and greater community awareness of animal welfare. Fair. Mr. Tan also highlighted a pilot project to allow HDB residents to adopt and rehome stray dogs in their flats. Certainly, I am keen to create this common space. So I think we need to work together and move forward at a pace which can be comfortable, I think, for all concerned. So, for example, I mean, like with HDB flats, I mean, we know that there are certain number, the certain type of dogs that are approved. Um, we are looking at, as, uh, with this project, having medium-sized dogs, uh, certainly with mongrels in the HGBSA. Two-year-old mongrel Miko is one example. Once a stray dog roaming the streets, she has now been adopted by loving owners. Adopters need to adhere to strict requirements, such as sending the dogs for training courses. We're extremely um, careful. Um, we do a lot of checks, uh, background checks on the potential adopters, um, making sure that they have the right experience, uh, right attitude about having a dog. Um, we also check on the environment, like their neighbours, um, even the, you know, their apartments and all, make sure that it's conducive. The owners themselves also need to be considerate to prevent disputes with other residents. When I bring her out for walk, right, I will make sure that um, the leaf there's no ma ma Malay, Malay neighbours, um, no children. You know, um, if there is right, we ask them to, we will ask them to go go ahead first, and we will wait for the next leaf. Yeah, we will try not to um, together with a we are saying leave right in case um she actually in case she scared them or what uh. We make it a point to always leash her, never to off leash her. And we, there's no need to muzzle her because first she's not an aggressive breed and she's very calm by nature as well. The other than that we just keep her locked behind the doors when we are at home. Under the project, fourteen dogs have been adopted and rehomed.